Welcome everyone to PromCon 2017, the second one which we have ever had. Thank you for making way to Munich, which is way prettier than Berlin. And without much further ado, I'll introduce Julius. He's the co-founder of Prometheus and the rest you already know. <laughs> Thank you, Richie. Yeah, welcome to PromCon 2017. I have to disagree with the Munich statement, of course, because I'm from Berlin. Uh, but Munich is very beautiful as well. Uh, yeah, this is now more than twice as big as last year. It's pretty impressive. Um, and uh, yeah, so welcome and thank you everyone for coming, the attendees. So without you, of course, this conference wouldn't happen. But of course, also very special thank you uh, to everyone who helped organize the conference. Uh, many people from the Prometheus open source team, but also the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, which helped us do you know, some of the financial stuff and registration. Um, and you know, this is really a conference that's not professionally organized. It's really all based on volunteer work. So I hope you forgive us if we have like small things here and there not working out all the time. Um, but I hope it'll be great anyways. So what happened since last year? Uh, last year, I told you a bit about how Prometheus got created in 2012 at SoundCloud, uh, then got finally published in 2015. Uh, we joined the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, and then we had our first big milestone. Uh, when we released Prometheus 1, the first stable release. Um, and then we had PromCon, and that was amazing. But what happened since then? Um, so there wasn't one huge big event that happened be between then and now, uh, but there's just been a lot of really amazing coding work going on in Prometheus. And the main work really has all been around uh, Prometheus 2.0, which includes as its main huge new thing, a completely rewritten time series database. Uh, we'll hear more about that tomorrow, so I won't go into the details here, uh, but it's amazing. It's like, it's going to be way better in every resource dimension, and I'm just totally looking forward to Prometheus 2. Um, there's also been work about adding remote read and write uh, storage integrations and a lot of other things like uh, staleness handling for Prometheus 2. Um, and other things. Um, so now we have PromCon 2017. Woo. Um, we are not a company, so we don't try to time major releases to coincide exactly with conferences. Uh, we release software when it's ready and when it's done. So Prometheus 2 is not quite out today, uh, but it's going to be out very soon now. So estimates range from one to three months or something like this, but definitely this year, but no guarantees uh, <laughs> when it is ready. <laughs> so, yeah. So are we still growing? Uh, last year I asked this question as a joke. Who knows what the most important metric is for an open source project? GitHub stars, GitHub stars of course. And you think they're still going up? Yay! <laughs> Okay, so this to me still looks very exciting. Uh, this is uh, cumulative across all our GitHub projects. We are at almost 16,000 stars in total now. Um, so that's pretty amazing. And from a community side, I mean, obviously this is kind of a funny graph and you know, if you get on Hacker News, it goes up a lot and if not, then not. So I don't know how useful it really is, but it's still pretty cool. Um, but in terms of an ecosystem, we went up a lot in, t in the uh, total number of contributors, um, went from three f 350 plus to 650 plus within the year, um, and also got some new core contributors. Um, we more than doubled the amount, the number of our third-party integrations like exporters and you know natively instrumented open source software. What are you saying, Brian? It's over 200. Over 200 now. Okay, I just did the count of what we had on the website plus some extra ones that I knew about. So yeah, it's good. It's even larger. So um, looking at the kind of companies that are using Prometheus, it's I would say getting just more diverse there. Uh, we of course still have like all these kind of tech companies like DigitalOcean, Cloudflare and so on using Prometheus in one way or the other. 
um, but also organizations like CERN, the European Nuclear Research Center, are using Prometheus for some things. Uh, the New York Times is totally betting on it. They gave a talk about it. We just recently learned that Deutsche Bahn, which is the German railway company, is going to monitor all their signage systems in all German train stations uh, with like Node Exporter and Prometheus, basically. <laughs> so that's pretty amazing. Uh, so when you're like walking in a German train station now, you'll see like, oh, there's Prometheus running somewhere above me. Uh, you have uh, companies like BNY Maryland, it's a bank that manages trillions of dollars in assets. Uh, so you really also have these more, you know, very traditional, older uh, kind of organizations starting to adopt Prometheus, which is really exciting uh, for me because it really means it's mainstream now. <clears throat> so, great. Back to some organizational stuff, uh, you know, what you actually should expect during the conference. First of all, please tweet. The official hashtag is PromCon2017. Oh, great, I got the year right there. Um, also, feel free to mention our Twitter account, Prometheus.io. We will have lightning talks on both days between 5 and 6 p.m. Um, we have a little flip chart outside where you can possibly still write in talks, but Brian, do we still have any slots, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Brian Maybe says... Down, you might get a talk. Yeah, if you're, if you're lucky and you still write yourself in there quickly, you might still get a lightning talk. Lightning talks are strictly five minutes only. So if you want to still talk about anything short, keep it to that. But otherwise, add it there. Um, we will have an evening event. Um, it's pretty close to here, like 10, 15 minutes walk at uh, Augustina Bräustuben. It's a Bavarian brewery style place. Uh, there's beer, but there's also non-alcoholic drinks, and there's going to be some finger food. Not a lot, so if you're going to be very hungry, you might want to also get food somewhere else, but you know, otherwise it should be fine. And there's a map in the schedule flyer. The schedule flyer is going to be at the t-shirts table over there, in case you haven't seen it yet, uh, or you can just walk there with us. Uh, very important, we have a code of conduct for the conference, so we want PromCon to be a harassment-free and pleasant experience for all attendees, so please read the code of conduct, follow it, generally be nice, but also very professional to everyone who's here, right? It's a professional event. <clears throat> Then finally, big thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, again, you know, the entrance prices for the conference are pretty low for a conference like this. It's 80 euros instead of a couple of hundreds or thousands. Oh yeah, and so basically, but the sponsors are <laughs> are helping make everything happen here, right? The food, the, the video recordings, um, and everything. So uh, big thanks to them. And special thanks to the uh, home of our open source project, Prometheus, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, which is by now home to 10 different open source projects, including Kubernetes, Prometheus, Open Tracing, and others. Um, and they help also, you know, they helped us organize part of the event and help also with sponsoring and are generally helpful as a foundation to the project. Uh, if you would like to join as a member company to the foundation, you can follow the link cncfio slash join. So you can find uh, the program. Um, on the website on PromCon.io, there is a full author, a full uh, speaker information, and also a full talk abstract that's not in the little schedule flyer. So there's more information there. Um, and yeah, we'll have talks from all kinds of companies, use case talks, but also more kind of developer-y uh, talks from Prometheus developers themselves. And I hope you enjoy all that. And see you around at PromCon. And thank you.